guys hi guys welcome to my channel today my name is Nelo so today's video is going to be something totally different um, from the usual today's video is going to be a chat video and I am sharing my most embarrassing moments with you guys you know like some of those moments in your life that <laughs> what kind of children is this you know some of those moments in your life that you you think back on and you still cringe like you remember how much you embarrassed yourself and you still go <sighs> I mean just thinking about them you want the ground to open up and swallow you it's that serious okay so we'll go straight and say the first one that I really never ever 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 forget in my life I swear <laughs> was way back I think that was I was I was in GS3 then or was it so I can't I think it was GS3 I really can't remember but I was just getting into my teenage years then I should be like around 12 13 thereabouts so I had this friend then you know in my area they moved in, they moved to our area newly she was really cool like she was one of the cool kids and then we were friends so her school, she attended, she, her school was having the end of the year party, she invited me over and I was like, okay, cool. Problem now was that I didn't know what to wear because, you see, I didn't know what to wear. Let me give you guys um, a history of my home. In my home, we're not allowed to wear trousers. My father was um, a strict Coco Christian, you know, so trousers were of the world and you know, girls are not allowed to wear trousers and all of that. So it was like that for us now. And I, re because, I think because, you know, I wasn't allowed to wear trousers, I was fascinated, trousers fascinated me. I wanted to wear trousers at all costs. So this my friend's um, end of the year party. I have made up my mind that I was going to wear trousers. And way back then, nobody gives you pocket money. I didn't have money to go buy trousers. In fact, I don't even buy clothes for myself. That's how. I don't buy clothes for myself, you know, back then. And I really wanted to wear trousers. So, <laughs> guess what I did? <laughs> Is it? My dad isn't so fat, you know, his, my, my dad isn't fat, he's skinny and his average height. So I wore my dad's trouser, I rolled the, my dad's jean, my dad has this one pair of jean, one jean, pair of jean trousers that he never really wore because he's not really a jean trouser person. So I took this trouser and um, I rolled up the cords and then of course the waist was too big so I used his belt. <laughs> to tight the trouser. I wore um, a body hole top in inside. I think it was a, a bodysuit then because I think I, body, I had this black bodysuit then that I wore inside and then I wore my father's shirt on it. Of course the shirt was big so I rolled up the sleeves and I left it flying. <laughs> then I guess the icing on the cake. <laughs> the icing on the cake was my mom's my mom's, um, there's this slippers that my mom had then, red, it had flowers on it, so I wore my mom's red slippers. <laughs> I, was, I was really super cool with myself. Oh my god, I didn't know what I was thinking. Anyway, so I wore this and I wore it out and I'm sure everybody was staring at me up on the street, already, but I really didn't care. I just wanted to wear this trouser. I just wanted to wear trousers so bad. So I got to my friend's end of the year party and she was like, ah. I mean the look she gave me that day, I was so embarrassed. Like, I think that was when the whole embarrassment just, I guess that was when the whole thing dawned on me that I must look like a clown. Like she gave me this look like, Bye -bye. <laughs> she kept, we kept trying to see how, we kept trying to see, you know, how I could uh, make Bye -bye. the outfit work, but um, Bye -bye. It didn't work. Bye bye. I was super embarrassed and I just never forget bye bye. that day. Every time I think of this day, I totally cringe to the embarrassment. But hey, I'm like, you know, over it now. Cause another embarrassing moment for me, I swear, I've had several embarrassing moments. Sha. I don't know why, I just 
the, the, the thing about my embarrassing moments is that I actually bring it all myself. Okay, so another second embarrassing moment in my life, you know, that I also never forget. And I'm like, why did I do that? Why was I stupid? Okay, so I had this girlfriend then in secondary school. I, I met her in senior secondary school and we became friends. And somehow, I don't know how this thing came up, but you know, she felt that I was from Nervi and you know, she, they, I think in their family, they always felt that, you know, Nervi people, they are so cool and all of that. And she just assumed somehow that I was from Nervi and I never bothered to correct her. So every time I go to their house, they will say cool things about Nervi people and we all laugh, they will be like your people. Okay, so um, fast forward the friendship. The friendship went from secondary school. We we, we graduated from secondary school, and then the started coming. To, we moved. Okay, yeah, we moved from my former area, and then we moved to this new area that was close to her house. So. I used to go to her house a lot and then she started coming to my place and so one day we were all together just and she was she dropped one of her and then we just <laughs> like ah you guys are from Nervi now so you guys are totally like this I can't remember what she said but you know I just felt I felt the silent like I wanted the ground to open and swallow me because I have lied for so long so my people were like myself like we're not from Nervi and she was like you know, she had this look on her face that, like, and me she just kept quiet. I was like, this ground, please just open up and swallow me because I can't deal. Anyways, after that day, I went to the house again, and you know, she had still happy good I was not from there and I, nobody really asked me why I like, but you know. <laughs> I'm the one who, you know, I, know, I felt it because I was the one who told you like, okay. So my third most, my third embarrassing moment was the time I burnt my face with Stingo. If you've seen my sister's tag video, then you would, you would remember that. And my sister talked about that incident. Like everyone thought it was funny that, you know, I had this burnt face for days. And my dad insisted that I must go out. Like I must go to church with this burnt face like i burnt my face i burnt my freaking face i didn't want to go out but my father and sister that i must go to church whether i like it or not so i had to go to church with face with my face black patches everywhere and everybody staring at me and looking at me and god it was very very embarrassing I can't, I don't even know how I survived church that day because all through the healing period, you know, because that was when it just happened, so it was really fresh and it was really horrible. And oh my god, anyway, I don't know how I survived the church that day. I just know that I went, I came back, and I didn't go out. Thank god, thankfully, then I wasn't going to school, I just finished school, so it was that transition period. So I was basically indoor until my face started to get slightly better except for that day I had to go to church I don't think I actually saw anybody in fact I'm sure of some people even if people saw me I wasn't talking to anybody I just went straight to church and then straight back home it was so embarrassing all right so my final embarrassing Bye -bye. moment is not so embarrassing you know in the whole Bye -bye. scheme of things it's just one of those things Bye -bye. that happen so I had this lovely um, dress that I, I had this lovely sundress you know, it was a wrap dress just by us. It has a, it had a, a tie, it was a tie waist, so you tie it on the waist and it was pretty short. I can still remember where it happened. It was in Bariga, I, larger bus stop to the side. So I was just getting off the bus, you know. I love this, this dress. Every time I wore this dress, I was always feeling super, super cool. You know, so I just got down from the bus and guess what? The, that the breeze chose that this air from god knows where chose that moment to just descend on me and all of my scare just went up and you know how the bus stop can be some days when there are so many people there i mean there were so much people there they also my dress go and i wasn't even wearing any sexy on my pants or anything i was wearing some grandma pants it was so embarrassing like everyone was just looking at me so stupid some stupid area boys, you know, just by the side that they thought it was so funny, they were just busy laughing. And of course, some women there, ah, they're so damn good. They're yeah, not go do this, they're not go do that. Anyway, so <laughs> it, was, it was really embarrassing. But I got my dress down and I ran or walked, I walked, ran out of that place, you know. 
Okay guys, so these are some of the some of my most embarrassing moments. Let me hear about yours. You know those moments that you see back on and you just you literally cringe. Like you can't believe you did those things. Share with me in the comment box. Thank you guys for watching. And yes, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I upload every week. And thank you guys. Yeah, and yeah, before I forget, we need a hundred subscribers, guys. We did that shit. We hit a hundred subscribers, and yes, I know I did promise that you know there's gonna be a giveaway. I will keep to my words. It's gonna be a giveaway, so stay subscribing, keep subscribing because I'm about to give away something really, really cool. Bye, I just want to thank you guys for always coming back. Bye. I love you all, and I'll see you guys Bye. in the next video. Until Bye. then, let me share with you guys this. Um, Tube top that I'm wearing. It's actually thrifted. I got it from a thrift store and it's so beautiful. I love the embroidery on it. It's gorgeous. Like, check this out. Now, this one is has nothing embarrassing about it. It's just super, super cute. Okay, guys. Bye.